Back at you here from the UNBC Event Center where the Retrievers have just beaten the Hartford Hawks 75-60 to advance to their first America Conference East Conference Championship game in nine years. Gary Stein and John Feinstein. And John, again, we've said this before and we'll say it again tonight. It was the UNBC defense that keyed this win. There's no question. It's keyed their season, really, in the last month because they've been an up-and-down offensive team. Jarris Lyle sometimes is hot, sometimes he's not. But their defense has been there every night. It was there tonight. A, a week ago, they held... Hartford to 53 points. Tonight they held them to 60 points. A good solid offensive team and even in the second half when Hartford did get a lot of offensive rebounds they didn't finish and a lot of that had to do with UMBC's interior defense. All year long the name KJ Mara I'm sure is familiar to everybody by now and he delivered again in the second half. He really did. Uh, only two points in the first half. One out of four shooting. Five out of seven in the second half and he blew the game open single handedly early in the second half with this sequence that spinning layup the three there and then he sets up a little jumper for himself. He also had the assist on the one basket he didn't make during that 11-0 run that blew the game open. And as you can see, UMBC didn't shoot the ball that well. They didn't shoot it poorly, but they out-rebounded Hartford 41-32. to uh, They had that string where they made some threes, but not a great three-point shooting night. Better performance off the bench, which you would expect as a deeper team. But the biggest difference in this game, the two big differences, were UMBC's consistent defense and K.J. Mora, who is a unique player. And so here's the story. Vermont, by virtue of its win over Stony Brook, UMBC beating Hartford. Yeah, and of course, UMBC will have to go to Patrick Jim on Saturday morning. It's a difficult place to play under any circumstances. Vermont is a superb team. You can see they beat UMBC handily in both games, beat them by 28 here in the opening of this new building. They're going to have to have a superb performance, play a near-perfect game to win up there. But as Dave Odom, Ryan's dad, said to me this morning, you get into one game, 40 minutes, anything can happen. We see it happen in college basketball all the time. UMBC at Vermont, Saturday, 11 a.m. on ESPN2.